metropolis. It's the little things that really change a city's vibe. The weather, gentrification, the alien invasion. Task Force X, stop sightseeing and see if you can kill everything in sight. Got it? Hate to say it, but Waller's right. We got work to do. How did you three get split off this time? Hey! Wasn't my fault we got lost! Ah, uh, this time? We should convene at the Daily Planet. It is a very central location. Still playing tour guide, Sharky. Love that. Come on, y'all, focus! We're game seven, last quarter out here! I do not know what this means. It seems like it would be very high pressure and stressful. Yeah, you lost me there too, Floydy. Oh, aren't you supposed to be a yank, Harles? Even I got the reference! Just don't get yourselves killed doing something basic. Well, you know Boomer, he's always basic. Oi! Wait! You're basic! See what I mean? Gotta cool the jet. Just gotta do what I do best and land these shots. I ain't letting a little shield stop me. Just gotta use my jetpack to get around. prepared to hit my targets. Just switch up the guns, slow breath, and... <laughs> Clean, as always. Okay, I got this, I, I got it. Just can't panic. Airborne, afterburner, breathe, kickstart. Easy, yeah, no, it's definitely easy. have to be about accuracy, just efficiency. You gotta be nearby.
I am in a tunnel. It only has two exits despite its length, which seems highly inadvisable. Human architecture is fascinating. Surgeon again? Can't you just look at pictures later? The experience would not be the same, Floyd Laden. I would never ask you to simply look upon renderings of Atlantis. It must be experienced. I kind of prefer pictures, actually. Oh, -ho! new dead shot phobia. Nah, that ain't a phobia. A sharp drop. Momentum, gravity, and mass in destructive concert. If only there were enemies here. That would be a splash. <laughs> oh, who's been teaching Shaco puns again? Maneuvering through the air has its advantages. Less land dweller refuse. Much less. Much less resistance than water as well. Excellent. I hungered for more enemies. Control the flow from within their ranks. Sacrifices are greatly appreciated. I wanted some extra exercise. Hey, Shocky, you want some real architecture? I'll show you all the top brooding and cackling spots in Gotham. Oh, I already have a list, but I would love a true Gothamite's perspective. Quinn's got point on this one. Not many scenic views in my line of work. Can't get spotted. Floyd, mate, you ever taken a vacation that wasn't work? Shot. Where are Harley and Boomerang? Not with you. That's the problem. Boomer, check in. Ah, oh. ah, what me? Yeah, see, I uh, had to fight off half of Brainiac's army. Yeah, all on my own. Yeah, me! So tell us all about that big fight just now. Yes, regale us with your tales of glorious combat. Yeah, well, uh... <laughs> you see, uh... Take your time, sweetie. Let the mental boomerang make it back. Chunk 
of them up ahead. At least, uh, 30. Gotta knock them around first to get rid of those shields. in front of the other. Oh, that's a big one. But if Deadshot and Shark can make it, I sure as hell can. Gonna need every drop of speed force I've got. Injured despite your supposedly harrowing battles. Did you not see Harley? Uh, no, I didn't see her through all the uh, bodies. Hey, Harles, where'd you disappear to? Ain't got yourself beat up, have ya? <laughs> Dead shots, all. You ain't got no self preservation, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Or... alive. Anywho, I'll be there in a Gotham minute. Are you puppeting the dead goons again? <laughs> that shit is creepy. Yeah, a little bit. But it's a balm on my soul in these trying times. Could be worse. I could be like Boomer. Oi! What's that supposed to mean? There is speculation that you may not bathe, but merely cleanse your weaponry. Mate, where my boomerangs go, I go. Including the showers, the, the dunny, everything. Yeah, you're really not helping your case here. This is hell. I've died, and this is what my hell looks like. <sighs> What's the matter? Drones pooped? Whether it's makeup or hurtling at the ground, you gotta trust the process!
conservation of momentum, honey. I do love a convenient point to hurl my body into the unknown. Gymnast finals. Swing, release, wait for back drone, swing again, stick the landing! Now that we're finally all here, we can get oh, down to... almost forgot. There's a big honking group of baddies ready to descend on us like fresh meat at the buffet line. So, who's staying to play hero? Deadshot's combat lessons will aid me greatly here. I am very glad I took notes. Precise timing will be key.
had your personal shields modified. No automatic recharge. Every second you spend hiding behind cover is wasting my time. If you want to stay alive, you'll have to fight for it. That means harvesting shield charge from enemies in close combat. This enemy is ripe for harvest. approach such hallowed halls I wonder if they had treats in the lobby this daily planet was once a bastion of journalistic integrity now look at what's become of it journalism is one of the highest callings one can have to inform others to shed light on misdeeds to gossip courtly gossip can mean the difference between life and death even in my home, the words of Lois Lane and Cat Grant are sacrosanct. I am honored to have been able to pass through this space. Though, I... Hey, Waller! Skull ship's honked off at us. Over. All of you, move to the objective. The Prometheum shield is up, but it won't last forever. Reminds me of a Sunday morning back home. Yes, the nostalgia of an active war zone. During the Hammerhead conflicts of my youth... No, no, focus, people. Those shark fights do sound pretty cool, though, big man. Move to the engagement zone, Task Force X. Deadshot's target. Get out! Boy, yeah. 
shooting the target. I am unbound. Juan, Juan, get us the hell out of here. Get to the evac point. All hell's about to come down on you. My name is Amanda Waller. I am the director of Argus, a division of Homeland Security you've never even heard of. But we've heard of you. And I'm here to make you an offer. You're tenacious as junkyard dogs. Desperate. Hungry. You know how to survive. Now that might make you the kings and queens of Arkham, but outside these walls, the world's forgotten about you. And you're going to spend the rest of your lives picking maggots out of prison meatloaf. I could change that. I could be your way out. A chance to do some good. And if- Hey, Holly Quinn, Arkham Gazette. Just a quick question. What's with the frickin' shark? I uh, would be happy to introduce myself. That won't be necessary, King Shark. This is a microbomb injector from our friends at Let's Corp. Stick it in your target's neck, and it's good night. You want this to be where you take your last breath? No? Then help me. I only need one of you. As for the other three, you are dead already. So, show me what you got. So. Sorry. So, makes sense Waller would want the world's deadliest assassin in her pocket. <laughs> I don't know what she wants the rest of you for. Knowing Amanda Waller, it is nothing good. In my experience. What the heck is your experience? And what's a fresh doing in Arkham? You got mental health issues, Shark. Generalized anxiety. But I was brought here from my home. The ocean? Bell Rev Penitentiary. Can you all focus for one damn minute. This is clearly a trap. Any of us touch that thing, none of us is getting out of here. Ah, the prisoner's dilemma. What's the bloody dilemma? This prisoner wants out. Come on, Captain. You just got here. I've been inside five freaking years. Feels like I've been stuck in this conversation for five years. 
Can we please... Oh, so sorry, Deadshot. Are we interrupting your being strapped to a gurney? Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? Aren't you supposed to be shutting your damn mouth? Kangaroo looking ass. Because you are Australian. Okay, so are we gonna do the murder each other thing or what? Cause I'll be straight with you. I'd kill anyone to get out of here. I'd kill you. I'd kill myself. Nobody's killing anybody. If no one goes for the bomb, Waller comes back in here, see she's not dealing with four screw-up psychos. We all get out. So then we do nothing. Excellent. I have grown quite skilled at... <laughs> Enjoy your nothing, idiots. Maybe you should have spent less time in brain class and more time learning how to pick locks. Because it looks like Captain Boomerang... in our heads uh, we are all losers the shark's right she played you all you played yourselves welcome to task force x <laughs> planning on picking up a bunch of liabilities in Arkham. Ah! Oh! God, there's something in my ear! Did one of you bastards inject something in my ear? In-ear CIC comes. Bet we can hear your bullshit wherever we go now. You guys are making a girl miss solitary. Still, sure is nice to be out of Arkham. Thanks, douchebags. Well, we could have started a riot like normal people. But no! Everyone's a backstabber! It was a test. A mind game. I do not know if we passed or failed. Well, four exploding heads are better than one. Where are we going, and who are we killing? They geared us up to take on an army. Wait. Is that big drop kit driving the flame and train? I am not. I have never traveled by train before. Ah, oh, brilliant! <sighs> you jinxed it! This ride's like the Aussie. It's old and it stinks! Joke's on you, love. I'm not that old. Sharkman, pull that brake lever.
stupid asshole train! Stupid brain bombs! Stupid deal! Hey, hold up, big man. What is it? Can you feel that? Feel what? Is, is this a trick? <sighs> Old school. Guess Miss Off the Books got something to tell us. Or she made us a mixtape. Congratulations, Task Force S. If you're hearing this, at least one of you made it to the area of operations alive. Thanks to the shark. Silence, Australian. Comms don't function that deep underground. So this tape will have to suffice. Here are your objectives. Here we go. Each of you has a C4 charge in your equipment. Use all of them to detonate the old station schedule wall. Go through. Get to the roof of the building you find. Establish comms with me. Way to micromanage, lady. Task Force X. These are your orders. Ignore them, split up, or piss me off in any way, and I pull the trigger on the micro-bombs you so helpfully implanted in one another's skulls. If you survive, we'll speak again. Waller out. of it was turned into a high security prison yeah everywhere is getting gentrified these days how old is this place 100 years she can't send us back in time you bloody drongo can't she? <sighs> yeah. Try not to get blown up. Three, two, one! Is this some manner of man bat tunnel? We should keep heading up. I say we put many, many bullets in that junction box to make our way out. Holograms aren't actual size, Shark Man. I... I know that. Bats joins the super team with a whole headquarters above ground. 
I could tell you their thrilling origin story. Not the mood of the time, shark guy. Poor Holly. You, ha, you can't beat Raiden the frickin' merch stand. Even the hall aren't just here to look cool. But I'm not gonna lie. I have tried on Riddler's bowler hat. We put these items on display to share some of the adventures the League has been on. And the bad guys we've defeated. All of us in the Justice League believe that part of being a hero isn't just remembering the good stuff, but the bad stuff too. That's what makes us stronger. That's what really makes a hero. That's what really makes a hero. And here I thought it was just a lot of money and tight pants. It's magnificent. What are you talking about? It's like the 4th of July puked on a museum. Greetings. I'm You're Wonder right. Woman, but you can call me by my real name, Diana. I was born on Themyscira, the secret island home of the Amazons. As a child, I grew up believing I would remain on Themyscira with my Amazonian sisters. That is, until I learned a big secret. Would you like to hear it? I learned that I was the daughter of Zeus, ruler of the gods. From my father's side of the family, I was given the strength to wield my impenetrable gauntlets, my sword, and most importantly, my magic lasso, which compels anyone to tell the truth. How could I remain on Themyscira with all of these gifts? When I learned that your world was still at war, that the strong hurt the weak, I knew it was my duty to help. Despite my mother's concerns, I decided I should join humanity. I would come as a warrior of peace, a protector. I miss my home. But I've made new friends, like the Justice League. There's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. And alongside them, nothing can stop us in our fight for a better world. Hall of Justice? Oh, more like... Hey there, I'm Bloody Superman, Hall and I'm so glad you're visiting Hall the Hall, Hall of Justice. Hall, Hall, Hall of Bullshit? I come here every day to meet with my very best friends, nice. the Justice Got League. Got a point, though. Justice Say, for now people that you're like here, us. I think that makes us people pals, like us. Do not worry. Wonder Woman thought I it would be a good idea to, to open our doors and it. introduce ourselves. First off, I'm not from Metropolis. I'm not even from Earth. When I was even younger than you, my world was dying. So my mom and dad sent me to a beautiful blue planet far away. Some really nice people raised me, even though I came from another world. Even though I was different. I love this world. My friends. And yes, even Batman. Let's make a promise, everyone. We'll always try to help. Always give people a chance, no matter who they are or where they're from. And we'll always watch out for one another. Through these doors lies the inner sanctum of the Justice League. Sounds very grand, doesn't it? And it is. The inner sanctum is where we all first agreed to form the League. And since that day, it's become the nerve center of the League, where we plan for battle against forces too great for any one of us to face alone. Sorry, we can't allow visitors to the Sanctum. But if you dedicate yourself to good, to being a champion of peace and protecting others no matter what, you can join the Justice League and join us inside. Holy moly, she is a dame who can almost make me listen to a boring PSA. I made my power ring look a little bigger for you, because you know what? It might be the strongest gadget in the whole Hall of Justice. Now, I'm not talking your strongest Superman, but my imagination is my superpower. Using my power ring, I can create all sorts of neat stuff to help me save the day. Once upon a time, I was an architect. Making my constructs is kind of the same thing, except they get built a lot faster. 
far, far away from here. There's a planet called Oa, home to the Guardians. The Guardians are really old, tiny, blue, and super smart. Maybe smarter than Batman. <laughs> the Guardians created these rings. They're powerful, even a little dangerous. But if a ring chooses you, you can use it to make anything you imagine. Green Lanterns like me are peacekeepers. The Guardians picked us from all over the universe. Well, I come from here on Earth. Used to be a Marine, but in the Lantern Corps, I'm more of an intergalactic policeman. A Green Lantern uses their ring to help people when they can, and stop the bad guys when they have to. I'm the Green Lantern of Sector 2814, and I'm proud to defend this planet alongside my friends in the Justice League. Don't touch anything that's gonna set off an alarm. Criminals can strike anywhere, anytime. Ooh, and when they do, I need yourself, to be ready. Professional Bat gun pods guy. are my mobile preparedness yeah. units. Just a real low opinion. A little like one else. of your backpacks. If your backpacks had cutting edge stealth technology. Bat pods contain everything I need. From my bat suit to my bat gadgets. They can be deployed almost anywhere in the world. That means wherever people need help, I'll be there. Damn league. Bunch of do good and freak shows in their creepy playhouse. I don't want you agreeing with me, man. Well, hi there, kids. Welcome to the Hall of Justice. We've opened it up just for you today, and there's lots of great things to see and do. Wonder Woman's guarding the Inner Sanctum, Green Lantern's at the Quartermaster area, or maybe you just want to see Batman's cool Batpod launcher. And in the Heroes and Villains display, the Flash will show off some crime-fighting tools we've used over the years, along with some pretty weird stuff we've nabbed from bad guys. So look around, push all those shiny buttons, and this Justice Day, have a super day. This is the Watchtower, our satellite and space station that helps us, well, watch over this city and many others. We'll know if someone's plotting something devious, if weird aliens show up, or if people are just being jerks. <laughs> Anywhere. I think of the Watchtower like an all-seeing god, like Hyperion or Thea, that lets the Justice League know where we're needed. Maybe not all-seeing, but a lot. We can't know all your secrets, just try not to turn into a villain out there, got it? We witness not only misdeeds, but we're privy to the good as well. To the aid offered by each and every person. And you should see the view! Think those telescope and satellite photos, but bigger and brighter and way better. Maybe we can bring you next to her. Ah, uh, uh, space is bad for growing bones, but just know that if you're ever in trouble, we'll be there. When you move as fast as I do, you've got to make sure your gear can keep up. My helmet is woven from a lightweight, anti-friction material cooked up by the eggheads at Wayne Tech Labs. Built to withstand the speed force, it absorbs and redistributes kinetic energy as I run. Which is a fancy way of saying, when I'm wearing this bad boy, nothing can slow me down. Typical hero crap. Big-ass gold palace to show the world how super they are. Yeah, they'd ever want a nice house to live in. It pales before the majesty of my home. I think this place could fit all the homes I ever lived in. Now I know what you're thinking. That big S on my chest can only stand for one thing, right? Well, not quite. Believe it or not, until I got to Earth, this wasn't an S at all. Remember how I told you I'm from another planet? Well, on my world, this is my family crest. Pretty neat, huh? I have a new family now. And gosh, a new planet too. But I still wear this crest, so I never forget where I came from.
Oi, dead shot. Must have stung getting tossed into Arkham, eh? For a pro like you. Sure did. And don't you have a kid? Oh, must be kind of hard to see it. Finish that thought, Boomerang. Go on. It'll be your last one. See you there. Look, I know I've been called the fastest man alive, and sure, it's true. Though Superman might disagree. He'd also tell you that I didn't outrun the lightning bolt that hit my lab. <laughs> but that was before I could draw energy from an interdimensional power source called the Speed Force. It's like the universe's biggest supercharged battery, and it never runs out. That's my secret. With the Speed Force, I can do a lot more than just run fast. I can whip up a cyclone. I can vibrate my body's molecules so fast I disappear. <laughs> it's also good for getting out of tough spots. And kids, let me tell you, being chased by lightning when I run is pretty cool. But the Justice League isn't only about what I can do. And it's not really about what the others can do either. It's all about you. You can be a superhero every day by doing the right thing. It's you who inspire us to be great. So thank you. You're in the League's quartermaster area. Sometimes... Having a Green Lantern ring or being super fast aren't enough to deal with the bad guys. That's why we work with super smart engineers like our friend Lucius Fox from Wayne Tech. His inventions help us understand supervillains' powers, then take them down. All while keeping you safe. Definitely feeling safe under a bunch of soups with cutting-edge military hardware. I was born Bruce Wayne, citizen of Gotham. At too young an age, I lost my parents to the city's greatest enemy, crime. From that day forward, I swore I would dedicate my life to defeating those who would prey on the heart and the spirit of Gotham. So I became a symbol. Something even evil would fear. I became vengeance. I became the knight. I became that man. Of course, I'd have to rely on more than just my wits. I'd have to work hard. Train every day to fight against crime. I'd have to design high-tech tools, equipment, and the most advanced vehicles you've ever seen. Before, I had allies, but I thought I had to push them away to protect them. Now, as part of the Justice League, I'm grateful for my companions. Because together, we are stronger than we are alone. Hey, man, watch the... Ah, shit! Glass. I'm okay. What the hell you got there? Thought this baby was a myth. Speed Force Gauntlet. 
Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift Flash's gimmick. <laughs> Myth you read. the Riddler's hat of invisibility! Where'd the shark go? Children. Ooh, nothing says international assassin like a frickin' jetpack. Shit, I'd break my damn neck. You're probably right. Jetpacks seem more like a death drug thing anyway. Mine. <laughs> that, uh, hat's not gonna get you vertical, Shark. I can make my own way up. Well, tickle me stupid. Shark can fly! All right. New toys, loaded guns. Let's get up on that roof and get our freedom back. 